You have the scriptures, yes. And you think you have life in them, yes. But they speak of me. This book's about our Savior, Jesus Christ, from Genesis to Revelation. You hear it all the time, and I thank God. I, like Paul tonight, says what he told the church at Philippi. He said, it's not grievous for me just to show up tonight and remind you of something you already knew because it's sure safe for you. It's safe. And the next words out of his mouth, beware of dogs. Beware of the concision. I looked the word up the other day. Concision means mutate. Alter. As I told the Bible college students this morning and all else, all the other folks that were there, I know some, some of you just waiting to get out there and get in that pulpit, get in that ministry. Let me tell you something. The wolves are out there waiting on you too. The concision. Some of the concision lives in our families. Uh-oh. But we can't alter it. There's nothing you can add to you are complete in Him. There's nothing you can add to that. Gideon was sent. You are as sent as Gideon was. You are as sent as Moses was. You are sent. Do you know that tonight? Sent. And there's no need to fear because it's Him that sent you and He will go with you. And He will provide all that you need for He truly is your provision. Can you hear the Lord tonight? Pressing in, you're sent. You are on the earth tonight, today, for such a time as this. We hear that verse, it sounds mighty good, but it is a reality, it is a truth. You are called for such a time as this. There is a mighty revival about to sweep through America. There is a mighty revival about to sweep through America. It has already started because a prophetic voice about 10 years ago to begin to declare the truth again, begin to point to the sacrifice. It was after the prophet showed up that the Lord showed up. When God sends a prophet, He's getting ready to do something. That's why He sent the prophet. To prepare the way. Under the old covenant, John the Baptist, greatest man ever born of a woman, a prophet. Because God was getting ready to do the greatest thing He would ever do. When God's getting ready to do anything... He sends a prophet. Even in this story of Gideon, the prophet came and then the Lord showed up. And he said, Gideon told him, you can read it, he said, if this is all real, if this is right, let me go get my present. Which means sacrifice, my offering. He went to thinking, uh-oh, this is the Lord. The only way this is going to work is through my faith. In this offering. And he went and got it and he prepared it and he brought it before the Lord. And the Lord said, put it on that rock. Put it on that rock that represented an altar. And when he put that sacrifice on that altar, showing what his faith was in, the Lord touched that and fire struck it. And if you'll know tonight and believe that God has sent you and put your faith in that finished work of Calvary, the fire of God will ignite in your heart again. And you'll be eager to get in this place and answer the phones on that day. You'll be eager to get in your job and you'll be looking for a place to send that word out. You'll be on fire for God, so to speak, again. If we'll just realize I'm sent, 
Because he died for me. Glory to God. I guess the musicians can come. The Lord is present and he's powerful. He's present and he's powerful. He's all powerful. He's not only able to meet you and deal with whatever you need having done in your life, he will save. Driving down the road about two months ago, five o'clock in the morning, the Lord spoke to my heart and he told me, he said, I will do anything you need me to do because of my new covenant, by the power of my new covenant, so that I can reveal more of my new covenant to you. It's all about that new covenant. The old covenant was about the new covenant. That's it. Yes. Yes. He will do anything, anything you need Him to do because of His new covenant. By the power of His new covenant, which is the Holy Ghost. But whatever He does for you, if He heals your body, if He delivers your children, if He delivers you, it will be so that you can know Him more. And when I say know Him, I mean know His love. Know His love so that He can reveal to you more of Himself. You see, knowing Him in reality is knowing His new covenant. Because Jesus said, I am life. And I came that you might have abundant life. So how did He give it to you? At the cross. The abundant life is through the cross. Every need met is through the cross. The fire ignited in a complacent, slothful life is through the cross. A realization that I am called and sent by God, maybe not to go to Bible college, maybe not to be a pastor, but I'm called to be a witness unto the Lord. <laughs> 